So in the last video, we spent some time playing around with tables. Um, we've got this thing now so that um, the, the rows are striped. Um, and um, you know we're, we've got the, just the nice layout of the table. Let's, uh, let's add some other visual features to this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the show link. And instead of having the show link, I'm going to make each of these clickable. So the label is clickable so that when I click on it, it'll go, it'll do whatever show is going to do. So let's do this. Uh, let's do that part first. Um, I'm going to change column span to two, and I'm going to get rid of this particular part of the table. And then I'm going to change the, each of those course numbers and whatnot to a link. So I'm going to do a link to my course number, and then it'll just go to the course. So that's a pretty easy change to make. Course. Okay, so that should be ready to go. I'll refresh that, and so got rid of show, and now each one of these is clickable <clears throat> so that when I mouse over them I can select them so that was pretty easy the um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to do is add icons to each one of the um, things over here just something so that uh, it's sort of this affordance idea well not affordance but rather visibility idea I want to know what that actually means through some type of visual element. So if you go back to the Bootstrap documentation under Components, you find these glyph icons. I call them glyph icons and people give me a hard time for that, but whatever. So uh, so, let's, so let's look here. So there's a, an icon for remove. That seems like a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward or appropriate icon for the delete. Um, for edit, we've got pencil. We can use that. That seems like it's appropriate. Let me see if there's an actual edit. Yes, here's the edit icon. Let's use that. Let's use the edit icon uh, as well as the remove icon. Okay. So the way that this works is if I want to add an image, a couple ways I've seen it done, but I'm going to do this as a span and assign a class to it. Oops, class equals, just put that in there for now. Uh, and then I'm going to change the class to glyph icon. And this one's edit, so it's, what is it called? Glyph icon edit. Where is it? There it is, glyph icon edit. That's the name that I need. With yeah, with icon dash edit. Okay, let's see if that worked. Fresh. Oh, there we go. There's my edit icon. Uh, and so the the basic idea here is that um, with these little visual cues, uh, it becomes more visible to the user what the purpose of that link is or what that that control is. So. So that's good. Let's let's add in the destroy. That one's easy as well. I'm just going to copy that. Add that in. I think it was called remove. <coughs> I think it's right. Remove. Remove. Okay. So I save it and refresh. And it's destroy. So that looks a lot nicer than what we had before for our table. Um, so now I've got the list of all the items that, that uh, um, well, in this case, the courses, and then each of those items is actually clickable. That actually is just going to bring me to whatever the show version of that is. Go back to both the label and the course number. Um, if I click on this, this just goes to edit. And just like we saw before, and then destroy will actually delete it. I'm not going to 
destroy that for now. So, uh, one more thing. I, I'm going to change that completed course to uh, add the, the button type there. So, class button, button default. Just a white button. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, that concludes um, this video uh, on using, um, well, in this case, adding the icons to the table, um, as well as the links to the uh, to the labels um, for um, for this uh, for this display of the the list of objects in the model. Okay, that concludes this video.